Hello, 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 everyone. Every time you hear the salutation, you know that we're back again in our kitchen and we are cooking up a storm and we are inviting you guys to come along today. That's the dish that we're going to produce and this is just the initiation of this meal. We need some butter, clarified butter and um, here you can see how we are preparing this butter for the dish and we're just going to cook up a very lush delicious yum meal today and we want you guys to come along so if you want to see how we prepare that dish that we've just shown you let's begin we need some chicken and we have just cut up some chicken breast and uh, here is the um, dimension of the chicken breast that we've used we have some leftover um, sage from um, Thanksgiving and we're gonna use it we need some Charlotte onion these are very sweet and uh, we want to just use this that it's gonna balance out that tomato in the those tomatoes in the um, in the meal that we are gonna prep so we need that um, balance and uh, that's what you're seeing there so yeah um, we just gonna go ahead and peel these Charlottes and then we're gonna cut them up I've lost a couple of my footage here but it's no worry you can follow along and this is gonna be so simple that even a baby could cook this dish it's gonna be very short and um, very delicious meal so we're just go gonna go ahead and cut our Charlotte just be careful with the knife of course and we need some lemon so yeah we're just gonna put that lemon onto the Charlotte we're gonna put that aside and we're just gonna put on some pepper oil some freshly ground peppers and uh, we just use the peppercorn of different colors we do love to cook with this one here and uh, so yeah we're putting on some garlic olive oil and on the charlotte and uh, we're not going to cook the charlotte of course just minutes before we finish cooking then we're just going to just pop that in the pot and um they're not even going to be cooked but what we're going to do we're going to season them on the side and put them aside so we have some um, rosemary here also that we're going to be using so we're just gonna these are all being washed and we're just going to go ahead and uh, um, just remove them from the stems and put them aside also we're going to season these we um, are gonna just do the same thing cracked peppers and oil and salt and we're just gonna put it aside also so you can see all the natural um, herbs that we are just gonna prep them and we're gonna put them aside until we're ready for them and we're just gonna put some garlic olive oil onto these also and put them aside until we are ready so yeah okay so after about five minutes or so we just gonna put our um, our chicken breast that we have cut into strips we're just gonna put them on top of this delicious 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 seasoning and yeah we're just gonna put that aside a little bit and we're gonna get some we're just gonna put this aside for say 10 minutes or so and then we're just gonna go ahead and prepare the rest of seasonings of course we're putting in some garlic powder and um, if you don't have garlic powder then you can put onion powder or what 
whatever all the dry season that you use you can put that on also and you can see that we're just rolling this around in all that um, delicious 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 seasoning pepper and salt and we just move making sure everything is covered and ready to move to the next phase of cooking of course just put that aside and we need some corn starch or if you don't have corn starch and you can use flour or bleached flour to dust your chicken after 10 minutes okay so while that is waiting we just gonna make sure we prepare the, the flour so um this is just cornstarch and we put some um, turmeric powder in to give the chick the chicken that beautiful golden color so it's just a tad bit of turmeric and we just roll the chicken in and now we're putting this in our garlic olive oil on the stove and we are just gonna make sure these are not burned but we want them to have a beautiful golden color to go with all the tomatoes and the other natural seasoning that we're gonna use and just to make sure that our oil is flavored we're just gonna pop in a few pieces of thyme and uh, that to, to, to just sort of season the oil and give that beautiful fragrance your kitchen should be smelling so beautiful at this point if you're cooking with us because that garlic there not the garlic that time that hot oil garlic olive oil is just out of this world delicious so after a few seconds we don't want our ch um, chicken breast to be over cooked and so um, you just we're gonna do this two times so this is the first turn in and if you do this two times like just barely get them cook um, fried or, or sauteed then you take that out and rest them aside and then put them back in then your chicken breast is gonna be so 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 moist and delicious and that's exactly what we're doing here so yeah this is our second batch in and now we're gonna make sure that the chicken breasts get the, I, the the right color that we're going for this is our second time around and of course the um, cornstarch just sort of lock in that kind of flavor and moisture and yeah so now this is our final turn um, and then we're gonna move them to a tray and get on with the cooking, rest of cooking. So we're just gonna make sure the other side has the same beautiful golden color because of course um, we're not even gonna cook this again once it gets the color and because we know that it is so tender and moist so um, once we take this off the stove that we're not even gonna cook that again I'm just gonna put that in the butter and everything so you'll see so now we're gonna go ahead and get some cloves of of garlic and uh, more thyme and rosemary and uh, these are washed and the lemon that we've used we're just gonna extract the rest of juice out of this and um, so yeah I'm just showing you what we're gonna need for the final cooking of this meal all right so we have some tomatoes that we dip in warm water just to take off the the outer um, coat or skin whatever it's called that silver kind of plasticky cut I don't like that so we took that off and 
we're just going to get on with the rest of cooking. So we put it in some butter and you can put in maybe a tablespoon of butter and then you do not want this to um, become oil so you're going to move it from side to side so it does not become oily or anything. You want to keep that very delicious creamy texture of your um, butter and so if you move it from side to side you've seen me do this a million times over so by now you sort of know what exactly what I, how I sort of do this and today is no different of course so um, I'm just going to remove this from the flame a little bit and now once it cools down I put in the um, other um, herbs fresh herbs with the garlic so we just do the whole um, two cloves of garlic we did not chop them or anything because this dish does not require any kind of chopping or anything so um, we take out the garlic and now we're just going to cool on the oil a little bit and making sure that the not the oil the butter making sure that um, all the delicious flavor of the um, herbs are extracted in this butter and now it's sort of clarified so yeah so here we go we put this back on the stove with um, the garlic again and now we're gonna get ready to put in the rest of ingredients we put it in some pe white pepper and some black pepper here of course and we're just gonna let that saute and of course since the butter is clarified at this point you're gonna move this around a little bit and then you're gonna put just like one tablespoon full of water to go with this just to make sure the powder um, the, the peppers are sort of burnt with all that's going on here and so you want to move this along swiftly because you don't want to overdo um, the herbs of course so you want to make sure that move this along nicely and you can see how this is going to look in this clarified butter and pepper of course so delicious so so delicious at this point we put some chili pepper in and this is not the one with the heat this is just mild chili and so we're going to reintroduce once the the clarified butter and the peppers are down almost to like oil we just gonna reintroduce our chicken breast for approximately one minute and we're just gonna make sure all the herbs are um, on top so it can sort of pull all the flavors from the herb into the chicken breast and make this so delicious yeah we're putting in a few pieces of ginger of course to give us a kind of Asian balance we're putting in some old chili um, peppers and these are have a kind of heat so we don't break them we just like put in two pieces and now we're gonna put in our tomatoes here we go guys how delicious is this how delicious is this look at this look at this deliciousness oh my goodness I, I'm telling you if you only have say 10 minutes after you come in from work 
you can have this meal on the table for your family in no time. So delicious with some white rice or pasta or bread, garlic bread. Wow, I'm telling you, this is out of this world delicious. I can't begin to tell you. You have to try this. Look at this, guys. So delicious. So flavorful. And we're just going to let this sit on the stove for approximately one minute. And then this is done. We're going to serve this with some um, vegetables and rice. And that's going to be dinner for this afternoon. So guys, if you enjoy this dish, we wanted to go out there and try this. I'm not feeling too well, so this is the ideal time for me to do this very quick meal. I so enjoy uh, cooking with you today, and I want you guys to go out there and try this meal. Come back here and let me know how you like yours. I'm hoping it comes out just as flavorful, delicious, and lush, just like mine. And on your way out again let me just remind you don't forget to like subscribe thumbs up comment share all the good things and check back here in another few minutes as we do another upload again in this here kitchen as me and myself will do another session of delicious healthy cooking for you and your family from our kitchen to your kitchen take care walk good cha la bella subscribe 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 guys see you again soon ta ta bye bye take care bye now